Welcome to Theme Thology on the Air. Before we start, a quick explanation. Theme Thology is an anthology series where each book explores a single theme. The first book is Invasion. The second book's theme will be revealed at the end of this broadcast. To find out more, follow the links. Of course, we'll provide them for you at the end of this presentation. With your host, Charles Baruch, and special guests, Michelle Mogul, Jefferson Smith, Aaron Wood, Jeremiah Lewis, Michael Williams, and your announcer, Andri or Andrew Harasowicz. And we'll see if we can't have a good time. And let's bring everybody. And there we go. And that's everybody. Would you like to do your introduction again? And I'm afraid you were muted. Oh, that's a horrible thing. We'll, we'll fix right. that in post. That happens. Um, well, this is version 1.0, guys. Things will happen. And so we're going to do a couple of things in this installment. The first thing we're going to do is talk to the people involved with Themesology Invasion, the current Themesology. And to that end, we have some of the authors here, and we have the artist who's going to be doing the cover. And then at the end of the broadcast, we're going to talk about the um, next themesology, reveal its topic, tell authors who are interested how they can participate, and move forward that way. We also have a lovely yeah, little commercial we're kind of proud of. So uh, without further ado, let's, let's chat with outside. everybody we got here. Guys, welcome. Thank you for coming out. Thanks for having us. Good to be here. Here we go. And that's everybody. Would you yeah. like to do your introduction again? I'm afraid you were muted. Oh, that's a horrible thing. Uh, that's somebody's watching the YouTube. Uh, <laughs> we're, we're getting an interesting echo. We know, guys. Things will happen. Yeah. So, I know we're where that's coming from. In this installment. The first that's thing because the next episode will be on time oh. travel. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah. Yep. That should solve that problem. There we go. So, let's try this again. So, guys, thank you for coming out. Um, why don't we go around real quick and just introduce everybody. I'm Charles Baruch. I have an extensive background in journalism, though I always thought of myself as a fiction author, and I'm finally getting around to that phase of my life. Uh, Michelle, why don't you talk about yourself for a moment here? Well, uh, one's told me that I write well, so I'm going to test and see if... Uh, the world thinks so, too. Very good. Michael, how about you? I am an author of two novels. Uh, one of them is Perishables. The other is its sequel, Tooth and Nail. A short story that's available called Complications, and I'm working on a third novel called Mule of the Devil, and a short story for a vampire-themed anthology from Sekhmet Press, and my story is titled, Daddy Used to Drink Too Much. And um, I like to take two genres and smash them together and see which one of them survives, basically. Very good. I'm Jefferson? An engineer. Oh. Jefferson? Hi, I'm Jefferson Smith. I'm a um, creator and destroyer of worlds. Um, my first novel, Strange Places, has been out on the market for a little over a year and a half now, and the second book is coming out this summer. I have a number of other works in process, but uh, I'm not ready to announce them yet. Very good. Aaron? Uh, my name's Aaron Wood. I'm a graphic designer in Massachusetts, and uh, I do social media and pop culture propaganda. Very good. Andrew? Hi, I'm Andrew Horoswitch. Uh I'm here more of a volunteer capacity, but I work as a marketer and web designer, and uh, just absolutely love sci-fi, so I'm here to help any way I can. Very good. Now, since um, we mentioned the fact that Andrew is here more as a volunteer, I should talk about that very briefly. Uh, Ms. Mao, Andrew have both been huge helps for us as volunteers. They're neither writers nor artists, but they are critical to our process. Likewise, Sydney B., who's helping with the editing. Likewise, Laura Herrer, who helped me do their technical run-throughs. Anything I got right on this broadcast, her fault. Anything I got wrong, my fault. 
I should also mention very briefly, uh, Ronnie Bincer does Hangout Helpers, which has been very helpful to me in getting certain things right. And we have to give huge thank yous to lots of people in the community, and I'll, I'll just mention two real quickly, which is John Ward and Trace Lorden, who've been very, very good about helping promote us and get people to be aware of what we're doing here. So that's those kind of things. So guys, let's talk a little more generally and a little more communally about the process. What did you guys think about participating in a, a coalition project like this? I found it to be really interesting and it's probably the way things are going to go from this period forward. <clears throat> um, it's great to have potentially thousands of people helping you out with your writing process, um, getting different viewpoints. It's, it's really been I don't, fascinating to me. You know, to be completely honest with you, when you first suggested the idea of a crowdsourced book like this, I, I kind of half expected um, burning flames, Hindenburg coming down. Uh, <laughs> but, I mean, seeing the, the motivation, seeing how people are excited about this, it's really, I mean, it's neat. I mean, I, I've never really seen anything like this done by, you know, just, just regular people trying to get their word out. I mean, it's, it's fantastic. So thank you to all the writers, Charles, uh, Mao, Aaron for coming in as an illustrator, and, and just everyone, and as well as speakers today. Um, you guys are great. Thank you for that. One of the, the core things is that I didn't really build a book so much as I built a community that's going to produce a book. And that's been the focus to my mind, is the ability to actually contribute to bringing people together who want to be together and kind of facilitating. Well, and I can blame you, Charles. I, I, I used to work in Hollywood with, um, <clears throat> in uh, special effects, and it's an extremely collaborative process. And I fled there after a number of years to come back to writing where I could be all by myself. Uh, and it turns out that writing is no longer about being all by yourself, and this is an, a perfect example of that. Uh, so I've lost that part of my life, but <clears throat> I'm enjoying it completely. Well, I, I apologize that we've destroyed your hermitude, but uh, I'm glad you came <laughs> to play. I was in a literary and artistic fraternity in college, and I, uh, it, it was an environment where people were very supportive of one another's work without um, being critical of one another's work. And as a result, I have developed into a writer who is very thin-skinned about other people's suggested changes. We were very clear that this needed to be a group effort and people needed to be open to being edited and having suggestions and taking notes from one another. And that has been a very, very good growing process for me. Okay, I'm very glad to hear that. Um, I think it's actually a, a good note to do our next piece on, so assuming I don't screw up the tech on this, you guys are about to get a peek at the Themesology commercial. This was a lot of time, trouble, and effort, and I'm hoping it's going to be responded to. Well, I'm sorry, actually, the credit roll of the news first, and then the Themesology commercial. So...
Can you survive 15 invasions? Invasion is a fear word. It evokes a fundamental unease. Our authors have taken this word in, fed it, let it touch their soul, and watched it grow. All for you. Invasion can be global, but it can also be personal, and it can come from unexpected places. Inside this book are those who need to watch the skies, watch the lowest creatures in the soil, and most of all, watch themselves. Can you survive 15 invasions? My friends, this is the Themesology commercial. Very what do you cool. think? I like it a lot. Yeah. Imagine what it's going to look like when we have real cover art in there. Yeah. Um, another thank you I should mention the, uh, the music for that is by a good friend of mine by the name of John Land. And um, he's been doing a lot of composition lately. He just recently had twin little girls and uh, he started designing music specifically based on their tastes and moods. And that's actually been quite fascinating because it's gotten even more eclectic. And he was nice enough to let us take that for the commercial. And I'm very proud of how that came out. He did a beautiful job with the music. Uh, so that's all that kind of stuff. Uh, any last words from anyone before we start talking about the next theme mythology and the call for authors? Okie doke, guys. Let's go to the next theme mythology. So... We've been making a state secret of this because we've been making a state secret of this. We want to encourage people to actually show up for this broadcast and get the news. So there's a couple of things I need to tell you. I'm going to be putting a post up in the Themesology community, which means if you want to be an author on Themesology, you need to join the Themesology community. As soon as this broadcast ends, I'll make sure that anybody who's asked has been accepted and then I will make the post within the next 15 minutes. Once that post is up, it's a first come, first serve. If we fill all the slots, still put your name up because we've had people drop out for overcommitments, and there's always opportunities. It is never a problem if you sign up and have to drop out as long as you do it responsibly. We're still friends with everybody who dropped out the first time, and some of them hopefully will come back for this time. One big difference between this time and last time is instead of 15 slots, there are 14. There are still 15 authors, but there are only 14 slots because we reserved one and only one slot for something very special. Amanda Rochelle Warren, whose poetic license is 007, is going to do something really interesting for us. Not knowing the theme, not knowing which authors are going to be picked because we haven't had anyone sign up yet, not knowing what any of the stories are going to be about, she's made the commitment that she will write a teaser lead-in poem for every one of the 14 stories in time for our deadline. So, very excited about this, very interested in seeing what she's going to do with it. Um, very impressed with the stuff that I've seen from her, and I think we're all going to be impressed with the result. It'll give another little dimension to it. The reason we decided to do the lead-in teasers is because of the topic. The topic for the next one's a little more philosophic. The topic is going to be the day I died. Every story in this anthology will either take place within 24 hours of the death of the main character or immediately after the main character has died. Opening the door for stories with science fiction themes, with philosophy themes, with real world themes. Little personal note here. I'm not the only person in my immediate family who's already been dead once. So there's a lot of opportunity there. So we're going to bring this topic up within the next 15 minutes. I will have a post up in the Themesology area. You need to be signed on to Google+. You go to the area in communities called Themesology. Ask to be let in. I'll let you in. And we're going to put up the post within the next 15 minutes. Put your names on if you want to write. Realize, collaborative process, strict editing policies, getting your name up does not guarantee that you make it into the book. 
I should also point out, in the community is the contract for the second theme -thology. Make sure you read it before you go ahead. You can sign up and withdraw if you don't like the contract, but do not commit unless you're happy with it. Never, ever, ever, ever sign any publishing contract that you're not completely happy with, with us, with anyone else. Having said that, guys, thank you everyone for being here. I appreciate all of you guests coming in, and that's our broadcast. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thank Thanks, Charles. you to everyone who took the time to listen. We'll see yeah. you guys soon. Thanks for doing this. And good night.